Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Delhi Tarot and these are your monthly readings for the sun, moon and the rising sign of Leo. Leo, this is for September 2021. This is a general reading, so please pick it up what resonates with you. Please leave the rest for others. And people who wanted to have a private reading with me, recorded or live, they can connect with me on the email ID mentioned below. These are the paid readings and I do paid healings as well for your love relationship, for your money extensions, for your financial blockages, chakra blockages. You can connect with me on the email ID. These are the paid services, so please connect accordingly. Now let us go towards the energies of Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising for September 2021. Door to Romance. Deceit. Healer of the Ages. So the cards are very clear. Let us see what do we have for angel messages, angel message, message angel and spirit guides, message please, for Leo, recovery, it's a no. Let me pull out a clarifying card. Improving health. If you believe. Nice. Let me also pull out the fairy cards. Then we will move to your weeklies with tarot. Fairies. Message for the Leos. Healing, healed, healer. So it is a coming time and again. Daughter. Perfect timing. So in your energy oracle, if you see, it says door to romance, which is a very beautiful signal for people who wanted to go into love relationship. This is a beginning of a new relationship with a new partner and it is a new kind of relationship with an existing partner as well. Door to romance is a very, very clear sign that, you know, there will be a new beginning in your love. And there will be new kind of understanding, new kind of maturity, new kind of wisdom in your relationship, especially your love relationship. And it is also a, a very, very good sign for people who are single and they are looking for a soulmate connection. Since this is in your energy, so this is, this is a message to all the people that you are... I mean, within a span of just two to three months, you are about to meet somebody who is going to be your life partner. And that is primarily will be primarily will be a soulmate connection. And your understanding with your existing partner, if you are already in the relationship with someone, uh, with your partner, the understanding, the maturity, the wisdom is definitely going to improve. So door to romance is a very, very beautiful feeling for the month starting for September. And then you have the energy of deceit this time. So this is especially for people who are working, people who are in the professional, uh, some professional career job. This means in your energies and aura, there is somebody who is close to you. You feel open to that person. You feel close to your person. You share your secret. But you need to take precaution because if you see the person from the back of the curtain has different intentions for you. The curtain from the back has different, you know, uh, different feelings for you. The feelings are not that pure. The feeling are, you know, 
um, not giving you that much of uh, support and profit it also shows that if you are working in your peer circle somebody is bad mouthing you you know in your professional in a company or if you are in a business you know giving bad word of mouth spreading rumors so this is in your energy and aura so it is very very important that this month you be precaution you take precaution and you try to not share anything personal any secret personal with the people especially in your work area and you know once you complete any work then only you should discuss and share what are your future plans but before you are making strategies before you are implementing strategies avoid sharing your strategies with people because there is somebody in your circle who is envious who is jealous who is bad mouthing and it is the negative energy which from which you need to take precaution by not sharing everything and yes you are a healer yourself in this month there are a lot of healing energies around you if you see you also have healing energy in fairy messages it says healing healed healer healing energy surrounds you this situation so there is lot of your angels your guardian angels which are surrounding you to protect you they are around you to safeguard you they are around you to show you the new direction so you know when angels are around you are get you are going to get the feeling that this person is not right that person is not right or maybe this person is going to support me when the healing energies are surrounding with the help of your spiritual guides with your guardian angels you are being protected at each and every stage you start getting thought process you start getting vibrations so you are being surrounded with your healing energies your fairies are there your spiritual guides are there your guardian angels are there and then if you see your angel card there is there is something related to no so this if you are looking for a job change if you are looking to open up a business if you are thinking of investment you have to hold back for few months because you your financials are at the recovery stage your financials are at recovery stage and your financials are improving my guides are telling me that your relationship personal and professional the relationship at every stage is improving so when it is improving it is better not to take any additional step not to move into additional relationship additional investments uh, you know a major change in your finances a job change maybe a business change avoid being into expansions for the moment because recovery is happening financial sit, you know situation is improving so when this is happening it's time to nurture what you have it's time to regain the losses and you know uh, maintain the losses and you know uh, regain the profits i mean to say so it is important that you maintain the balance of everything in life and whatever you believe is definitely going to happen with you it all depends upon your energy that what you believe is going to be true to you and in the fairy messages it says that working with daughter people who are looking fa for family extension there is a good news and then people who are not looking after financial uh, you know uh, planning or financial or i mean i mean to say family extensions it's a good news for people who are looking for family extensions and people who are not in touch with kids it is suggested that during this time if you're connected with small girls young girls for their nurturing for their upbringing for their education it is going to give benefit to you dear leo people and yes this is a perfect time for recovery for you know for uh, all the you know uh, issues to get settled whether it's personal or professional you'll be settling lots and lots of issue i will not suggest you to start anything new because your angels are saying it's a recovery time and your health your financial health your love relationship is improving so improving health does not primarily mean only the health it means your financial emotional social emotional health spiritual health and this is a perfect time to re rest and rejuvenate it says this is the right time for you to move forward move forward internally move forward internally and this is your own wisdom and maturity which is going to gain good things for you so the energies are very very powerful let us see what do we have in weeklies let us see what do we have in weeklies What do we have in weeklies for Leo? Week one, we have Archangel Michael with you. Week two, six of Gabriel. 
Ace of Gabriel. So, the angel for you, Leo, this month is Archangel Gabriel. Very nice. You have Page of Raphael for week four. Okay. So, in your week one, we have Ace of Michael. It says a wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. This means avoid being into any kind of assumptions. Be very, very clear in your communication what you expect from people, what people expect from you. Have a very clear communication because, you know, an Archangel Michael is the angel of removing fear, removing doubts, removing insecurity. And what better than better communication? Ensure that you are doing clear communication this month, dear Leo. And let us see what do we have in detail for week one with tarot. Week one with tarot. Week one with terror. We have nine of swords. We have knight of swords. We have six of cups. Look at this. We were just a while ago was talking about communication. And if you see week one, there are there is anxiety. There is stress in your aura. And it is, it is a combination of work and relationships both. You are going through a stressed relationship and anxietyful career right at the moment. But there will be a moment, definitely there will be a moment in your anxiety, in your stress, in settling down things. And yes, you have to be very cautious of your communication because out of three cards, you have got two cards as swords card. This mean communication is going to play a very, very important role for you, dear Leo, in September. And Six of Cups says that there is somebody from the past, most probably from your personal life, and for very few of you from your professional life, your old employer, but I'm getting a sense for a personal relationship. Maybe there will be a return of your ex-lover, your ex-partner, your spouse, if you are not in touch, if there was no message. So you might get the C person C coming back to you with message, with text, with email, with phone call. So there is a return of somebody with you, with which you are going to feel happy, but then you have to see that how far the relationship needs to go because your communication needs to be very clear. The guides are saying that this month, with whomsoever you are dealing, the communication has to be very, very clear, even if the person is giving you happiness. Be very clear what are your expectations from the person and what the other person should expect from you. And in the second week, we have Six of Gabriel. It says, congratulations, you have done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project. Award, scholarship or promotions. This means by second week of September, there will be a lot of settlement in your personal and professional life. And things are going to move forward very nicely. Because Archangel Gabriel is with you and then you have a knight here. So when you have a knight, things keep on moving and rolling. Let us see what do we have in week two for the video. We have seven of wands, ten of pentacles, <laughs> lovely, two of cups, amazing. So second week seems to be very, very balanced, dear Leo people. If you see, seven of wands says that there are still tussles in your situation. You're trying very hard to, you know, be defensive primarily against your situation, obstacles, arguments. But then the beauty of week second is that you have got a wonderful card and out of three cards, you have all the three different suits in second week. You have wands, you have pentacles and you have cups. It's a very, very balanced week for you. There will be a lot of money pouring in, you know, support from all sides, sudden money gain, sudden prosperity, sudden abundance, a huge, huge money coming to you. And then you have two of cups, two people getting together reunion maybe with the same person of your choice maybe with a new person but yes new person coming to your life or the same person with different intentions love intentions there's just two people meeting together and i can see for most of you it is going to be a partnership professional partnership as well in the second week 
So your second week is very, very promising as far as the month of September goes. And then you have Ace of Gabriel, which says a gift of passion, opportunity and inspiration, the chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. So your second week, third week is going to be even more better than the previous weeks. And there will be some new beginning. Let us see, what do we have in week three? We have four of cups. We have king of pentacles. And we have queen of wands. Look at this. So in the second week, we saw the two people coming together, especially in love relationship. By third week, you will see that whatever is being offered to you by your partner, maybe you're not happy. You are not contented. It is not as per your expectations. And it also talks about a job opportunity which you feel, which you felt that, oh, it was wonderful, but it is not meeting your expectations. But there is nothing to worry because in the further week of week three, you have the energies of king and queens. Things getting into your control, money-wise, work-wise, but there is no relationships coming here. So the relationship is going to be average. But otherwise, the work-wise and money-wise, you are going to gain the control. You are going to gain the memento. You are going to gain the balance out of this. Very nice. So in the fourth week, if you see, you have page of Raphael, which says a new emotional situation. Messages regarding relationship on social invitation. Great intuitive insights. This means fourth week, you are even going to get more and more love relationship, emotional messages from your partner from your spouse, from your love partner, from your soulmate connection. Let us see what do we have in detail for week four. What do we have in detail for week four? We have four of wands. We have ace of cups. Lovely. We have four of pentacles. Amazing. So whenever you are seeing this video, pause your video and go and Google angel number 44, 4 and 4. Look at this. You have got huge stability by September end. It's good stability coming to you career-wise, work-wise, money-wise. And it says that whatever you have in your hand, your current job, your current business project, whatever you have in your hand, just hold it tightly you're not supposed to leave it just hold it tightly and the beauty of this week is that along with huge stability in your life especially in your work and profession there is going to be a new beginning in love relationship as well this is look at this this is one of the most beautiful card i like from the deck it is beginning of a new relationship coming from universe coming from soulmate you know, you're getting soulmate connection messages and you're getting synergies, you're getting connection. It's a beautiful, beautiful energy and a beautiful, beautiful card. Very lovely energy you have. Dear Leo, this month, I'm going to pull a crystal message. Let us see which crystal is going to help you. When I say crystal, you can buy a small piece of a crystal or you can use it in the form of a pendant or a bracelet. Let us see what what crystal messages do we have and which crystal is useful for you this month you have rhodochrosite it means it's a very beautiful red color stone and it says be gentle with yourself you need to pay attention to yourself it says you have been through a lot and need time to heal and recover look at this the complete reading is talking about healing my dear friends you need emotional healing 100% and a lot of you needs financial healing as well because there were a lot of recovery cards there were improving health cards so you people need healing in your for your love and relationship for the other soulmate connections in your life for removing blockages from removing challenges the negativity which is coming in your way between you and your soulmate connection and the blockages between you and your flourishing financial situation so try to do some healing exercise in case you need me to help you out you can connect with me on the email id i'll mention it below and let us see what divine messages do we have for your september divine door messages we have a stranger's grace Ego fear, the sudden danger, but never underestimate the kindness of a loving stranger. I told you that there is somebody 
who is about to enter into your life there is there is a huge possibility a note of love seek different seasons and center into the unknown when love is in the focus foundation and goal blessed is the body mind and soul very nice so every card is talking about a love life and then you have forgive and forget yes this is very very important message and it says a ritual cleansing of pain again healing is about cleansing of pain heart burns heart breaks and lies arise and awaken since a new rise my dear friends you need healing there were healing energies try to do healing yourself you can take a white light meditation imagine that the white light is falling on you from the sky it is going on into your complete body each and every part of the body and it is going out to mother earth from your feet try doing this white light meditation i am sure you are going to get a lot of healings and in case you need to connect me connect with me for a professional healings you know that i am always there you can inquire on my email id and i'll take the process accordingly so my dear friends that was your reading if you like what i do please do like my channel please put on your notification please do subscribe and please keep on sharing the channel we really need to extend our delhi tarot family thank you and be blessed